Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to easily create a React Native video call application using Zigo Cloud UI Kits. Now I have built this video call application and I am running it on two of my Android phones. One is this one and the other one is showing my monitor and keyboard. So as you can see, you can switch between the screens, you can turn off or turn on the microphone and we can we can turn off the speaker as well and we can turn it back on now you can also rotate the camera and i'm just showing my wall here and we can turn it back and you can easily create this by following this video uh, to start with this to start with this you can go to zigocloud.com slash ui kits all the links will be down in the description so let's start so today's video is being sponsored by Zigo Cloud. Zigo Cloud is a global communication service provider which provides developer friendly and powerful SDK and APIs to build many communication features on our app such as video call, audio call, chat, video conference, live streaming and so many more. So to use this we need to sign up first. You can add your first name your last name, your country region, your email, your personal email of course not mine and uh, then you would be able to get your verification code in your email using which you'd be able to verify your email. Then you can just add the verification code and you need to provide a strong password here and then you can just start your free trial. So the free trial gives you 10,000 free minutes which is enough for your application testing and you know exploring all the things that Zigo Cloud provides. Of course you can upgrade your account, your trial account to a pro version and use it in your production application or any other application that you are creating and I'll show you how easy it is to create an application using Zigo Cloud UI kits. As soon as you add your phone number and press continue you would see that you have 10,000 free minutes and you can also join the communities. Now go to your dashboard. This is the dashboard where you can see everything. It has the free minutes trial, it has the bills overview, it has the balance overview and everything. Now we need to create a first project and we can create any type of project. You see there are so many choices and one of this would be your preference. I'm going with voice and video call and you can add your project name here. You can add any name you like. It's up to you, completely up to you. You don't have to use my name. Don't use my project name. <laughs> okay, so now we have the UI kits thing and the SDKs. Those are two parts. The UI kit provides us pre-built interfaces for our application. We'll start with that. It makes it so much more easier for us to build the application very easily with very limited amount of code you know it's just a few lines that you need to add and your video call application works it just works okay so this is your project built and you need to build your app now so you can have so many options here web ios android we are going with react native and there are options for one-on-one -on -one call or group call at the top and you see there are call invitation and standard pace beautification features already in the free trial now you would be in your app and you would have your app id and app sign you need to store this too okay it would be needed in your application now we go to quick start and it would have all this documentation about custom build about integrating the SDK and everything else now first we need to build our react native app for that npx react native in it and then 
anything your application name anything you want After you get your template built, you can just build your app once and check if everything's working correctly. I have my mobile running and it's it works perfectly here. Now we'll go to app.tsx and clean it and clean the app.tsx a bit. We we'll remove all the code that we don't need and just keep the simple styles flex one and background color here. We don't need all this code, we we'll keep it simple. Of course, you can customize your app as you want. I'm keeping it simple for now. And here you can add a text and test just for now. I'll be adding a message hello. That should be double L. Yeah, I know that. Okay, now this works great. No errors, nothing. It's working perfectly. Now, what we'll do is first add React Native navigation. So for that, we'll go to browser and so we are going to the React navigation docs and we'll be adding everything using yarn. All these dependencies are needed for your navigation. Make sure to use the React Native one, not the Expo one. And then you need to add this code in your main activity file. You can use Control P to go to that file. For Windows, of course, I'm using Windows. And this is the one native stack that you need for your React Native. And that's it for here. Now we would go to Zico Cloud and add the SDKs at the dependencies required for Zico Cloud to work. So these are the two things that is required. Then in the meantime, we would create the folder structure here, routes, screens, and then the last one would be constant folder. In the constant folder, we'd be storing our key or keys and that is app, app ID and app sign. Now, normally you would use .env file, but here I'm just keeping it easier for now. We can explore those options later. So this would be our keys object and it would have our app ID. I'm just uh, adding anything, one, two, three, four, five, six for now. You can copy your app ID and app sign here that we have stored from your uh, project, uh, React Native app. From the dashboard of uh, Zero Cloud. Now this is send, uh, throwing an uh, ESLint error. We can just go to Stack Overflow to check what we need to add here to remove that and would we'll be able to do that pretty easily like prettier it should be here around somewhere yeah right here rules prettier end of line should be auto and we we'll just cut this and copy it and paste it in our eslintrc.js file and that would be it that would solve our issue now now we can go to now we need to add our other dependency that we require that is react native encrypted storage which is required for zero cloud application to work Now would copy this and just paste it here 
and would be able to add the package in our project now in the meantime you should be copying your app id and app sign in your case file now here we have already added the dependencies but we need to configure our project for android we need to configure this add this permissions in our android manifest.xml file again you can just copy it from here and you can go to your vs code control p and we go to android manifest.xml it's command p for mac os by the way and you can remove the duplicates here internet is duplicated we can just remove that and then we can use the alt button to do it simultaneously and we can use the tab now the next thing would be to add it uh, this configuration in our proguard rules.pro it's pretty easy again control p and if you type proguard it would come and just you can add it here now we can go to the custom pre-built ui documentation and and you can check all the things that is here one by one we we'll go to the sample code that we have in the github and there are many options as you can see you can go to the call or we can choose call with invitation call with offline invitation group call would we'll be going to one-on-one -on -one call and you can see all these files here and these are enough to create your project you can just copy this project and uh, run the build from here i'd go to app navigation and just copy it from here would go to our src and it would be in the routes we can create a app navigation file or navigation.jsx or anything that you would like you can rename it and as you want and then you would add the navigation container the navigation container should be wrapping your project otherwise the navigation won't work next we can add the screens the first would be the homepage.jsx i'll be naming it like that the second one is uh, call page.jsx you can add it in tsx and uh, you know I use the typescript and types but i'm not doing it right now the next is i'm copying the call page and the home page as well these are simple components that i'll be that i'll be explaining line by line you can add your app id here that you have stored in your keys file in keys object keys dot app id and keys dot app sign yeah that's it now i'll be explaining the code a bit let me zoom a bit so that we get to see everything more clearly yep this feels good now the application start from app.tsx and we have the app navigation only here and in the app navigation we have the initial route name as home page and there's just home page and call page only nothing else in the home page we have two buttons only join us oliver button or join us jack button now this has on press on join press function that is navigating to call page with params user id and username that's all it's doing now we go to the call page and we have the user id and username that are coming from params and we are only using the zigo ui kit pre-built call that's it that's all we are doing this is the pre-built ui and it's using the app id app sign user id username call id that would be specific to a one-to-one -one communication okay and then we have other configs so this is the one-on-one -on -one video call config that is pre-built already and then we have the on hang up callback function that is just navigating to the home page we have the duration config 
setting invisible to true and then on duration update that updates every second so you can do any configuration here uh, say hang up the call after 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes we are set we can set a limit to our call and uh, we can go to the we can add the top menu bar config here uh, we can add the config minimizing button here and then there is on window minimized which which is a callback which is being called when we minimize the application or on window maximized when we maximize the application and this is as simple as that nothing much here this is only a few lines of code that will give us the whole application now let's build our app and we'll type yarn android Now in the meantime, let's go to our docs and check what other components, custom components that we'll be able to build. What is, what else is there? Okay. So with call invitation, with basic call, we'll be able to change the foreground easily. Okay. This is, we can use custom UI, custom styles to make our foreground change and then we can configure the layouts as well pretty nice there's only configurations simple configuration simple props that we can use to change our layouts as well very nice this pre-built ui kit is pretty cool we're able to change so many things just by adding some patterns in the config object We've got to try all these things pretty soon. You should try all these things and use your 10,000 minutes efficiently. Of course, you can upgrade anytime you want to a pro account. Now our application is building and it's built. Now we can join as Oliver or Zach and you'd be able to allow the permission. You should allow the permissions. And then this is my room. Okay. This is my fan, my room. Okay. Yeah. This is my hand. Hi. And this is me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Mic testing. One, two, three. and i've turned off the camera and we'll be able to turn on and off the microphone as well the speaker as well and i have turned on the camera again now you need to build the app i have a separate video for this which you can check and get your own apk file use it on two mobile phones and using the apk file i've installed it and i'm showing you this view using two of my mobile phones you can try all the features that the custom pre-built ui is providing and the configuration that you can use the pre-built ui is very good with just a few lines of code we are able to build a working video call application without anything else i hope you learned something from this thank you for watching this video hope you like and subscribe